Today, we talk about... Can we get much deeper into Kanye? Kanye, a best beat drop ever. Oh, all right, so um, last time we left off, we were talking about the Nike line. Now let's get into Adidas. So uh, first and foremost, the first model that came out, All-Star Break 2015, Bop the, uh, I almost said the Air Yeezy, Nah, this is the Adidas Yeezy Boost 750 in the OG colorway. A lot of people complaining about the uh, zippers ripping on you. I don't give a ish because I just rock them open like this. I pulled the zipper down once and that's how we leave them. Now, the thing that's gonna help me with these, uh, with this part of the video as far as like discussing the history is Kanye don't open his goddamn mouth where he should. He should be opening his mouth about the sneaker designs. I wanna hear more Kanye talk to us about it. Uh, but all I got is that. The other piece I have is not even from him or official sources, but more from just like, you know, hearsay, like, hey, did you know uh, that these were supposed to be like a men's cooler Ugg boot type of ish, which I agree. I've always wanted a pair of Ugg boots, but I never felt like it was for me. Uh, but this is definitely for me. I love 750s. Maybe my all-time favorite Adidas model of Yeezy. Now you may be wondering, why is it all marooning in there? Because if you've been following my Instagram, uh, I wore these to a Alec Benjamin concert where I undiest them. One of the best days of my life. And uh, we talked for a little bit. He didn't notice the shoes because he's not a big shoe guy, but whatever, you know what I mean? So that was that. Now, remember how we were talking in the previous episode about these and how I saw an image of them and I was just like, damn son, where'd you find this? Same thing happened to me with these, boom. The same Adidas Yeezy 750 in the triple black. The, the, the photo just really popped to me and I was just like, I need to have the shoe. A lot of people have selected this also in their ugly six, which I really don't understand, but whatever, it's got the strap, get the strip, and, uh, and it's all black. It's just perfect, man. I, this is literally the perfect sneaker to me. That's just me though, you know? So there's that. Uh, now with that said, that was the first silhouette to come out for uh, Yeezy from Adidas. The first low top to come out with that boost technology was this baby, the Turtle Dove Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 version one V1 in the Turtle Dove colorway. Turtle Doves, Kevin McAllister triggered. Um, made a skit about it, it was goofy, it is what it is. But these are gorgeous, a lot of people keep saying that uh, Yeezys have been ruined, or V1 Yeezys have been ruined for them because of how many fakes came out, bro. There was countless fakes for these motherfuckers, you know what I mean? I uh, get the heel tap there, but uh, dude, this shoe has aged quite well, I would say. This is like a classic shoe, man. I, I, and this is also a great both spring and winter staple for me for some reason. Don't ask me why, but it is what it is. Anyway, moving right along. Uh, don't have much more info on a lot of these Adidas models, so we're just gonna keep rolling through these. This being the Pirate Blacks, to me, uh, I believe this was the first, I believe this was the first Adidas Yeezy I purchased because I was like, yo, I need a comfortable, stylish, cool Yeezy with boost for work. And uh, I thought, and that was before any of this was going on. So back then I thought I was just gonna buy a handful of sneakers nope and uh here we are so i did end up getting these though the pirate blacks it's a great colorway uh, it actually has gotten more comfy with time but you know itty wordy speaking of comfort let's move right along next thing you know kanye puts out the three adidas yeezy boost 350 v2 the version 2 and this was a far departure from the v1 so here we have a heel tab all of a sudden we don't have a heel tab uh here we have way more boost uh we have um, yeah, obviously you see the outsole is a little bit different here. Uh, a whole new pattern to the prime net, much more sturdy in my opinion, and uh, a lot more comfortable. Granted, uh, sizing on these are just so crazy. Uh, you get the three stripes in there. I had to take the insoles out of most, if not all, my V2s, just because the sizing was just like, or the sizing was just like, what is going on here, Adidas? They always have a habit of doing that. Fast forward, uh, I was corrected in a previous video. This was not the first V2 point one to release if you will because of the heel tab but i believe it was the first uh leaked image although i, I do feel like we did see images of the uh, the bread um easy v2s as well with the heel tabs uh worn on kanye's feet when he was walking out of the gym in new york i believe uh but this time you get the reversal of the pattern you get you get a heel tab added as opposed to the v1 two 
V2.1s, or I guess these are the V2.0s, 2.1s with the heel tab. Otherwise, no change to the outsole uh, midsole uh, and the prime net pretty much similar with a lot of the same cues as far as the pattern goes. Now, then, this is technically not a Yeezy, but I gotta talk about it because Kanye did put his spin on it. Living in Calabasas, these be the Adidas Calabasas with a very, very plush leather. This is just some gorgeous, gorgeous leather. Came out in two other colorways. One of them, which is super dope, in that slate blue, slate gray type ish. And then one's like a triple black type ish where I'm just like, yo, I'm being triggered. Um, <laughs> Rage Comics triggered. Now, um, the gold trim on these are dope. Uh, this was based off basically just a straight up Adidas Power Phase model, which then Kanye just put a spin on. Um, and yeah, these luckily resale wasn't too bad on them, but you know, I had to have them. And they are fairly comfy, so hey, yo. So fast forward a little bit, where are we at now? We at a whole new model with Boost, the Wave Runners. Maybe the most iconic of the current era of Yeezys because almost everyone has access to these. I would say of the super hyped, models or debut silhouettes let alone debut colorways this is going to age quite well because almost everyone was able to get access to it so everyone's going to be able to build memories off of this thing dude i remember the initial images where the paparazzi caught him wearing these and i was just like damn so where'd you find this but like not in the good way like with those this one i was just like what is going on here but knowing that i trust kanye and his taste over mine i was like i'm still gonna get them and i did and i don't regret it because they did age well and everyone's just like oh my god they're so nice and now everyone's buying them left and right so what are you gonna do love the outsole pattern super cool wavy get it uh these being the adidas yeezy 700s v1 at this point because now we have a v2 which we'll get to shortly but yeah this combination of colors unparalleled in any other 700 model don't at me son okay now moving right along yeezy puts out his own sneaker which i'm surprised this didn't get more attention but i kind of understand why it's just like meh not marketed well day to day to day it's from his inline season six yeezy line uh it's a crep sneaker I haven't worn them yet, but I plan to. I got them a whole size too big because I was really worried about getting a size too small, especially because I had to buy them from a European boutique, I believe in Spain. Lo and behold, of course, then they release in the States. <laughs> Boo. Anyway, so uh, they are a little big, but it ain't what it is. Not something I'm commonly gonna wear, but as far as like documenting the lineage and history of Yeezy models, I had to get these. I mean, I'm just surprised more people didn't talk about him. He finally put out his own sneaker. You know what I mean? Not associated with Adidas or Nike. Like, why wasn't this a bigger deal? I don't know. Uh, and and plus, this ish is furry AF, bro. Come on, son. Uh, we got it. Moving right along. We're almost done, folks. Uh, three models left. One is the the Desert Rats, which were renamed to the Adidas Yeezy 500. Super moon yellows. And uh, you can clearly see from the all the yellow cues, bro, these materials are A1, super plush, super um, uh, super fun to touch. You get that uh, added preen sole, which I believe was inspired by a basketball model, if I'm not mistaken. Was it from the Crazy 8s? I don't even remember. I don't have a pair of Crazy 8s. Kobe triggered. Um, but, uh, but yeah, to me, th this came in the pre-order that was, uh, that you had to purchase the hoodie and the shorts with. Um, and I regret it to this day because these ended up being breaks as far as resale goes. Secondly, I only paid that pre-order ish because I knew I wanted them. I knew I didn't want resale to climb. And I figured, hey, if I'm gonna pay resale anyway, might as well get a hoodie and some shorts out of it. The hoodie, not gonna lie, it's pretty dope. The shorts, ass. Kanye, no, sorry. Maybe they're great for women because I know Kim Kardashian modeled them to begin with, along with the whole look, but yeah. For men, there's no drawstring, they're loose AF, and they're short. It's like, bruh, you know. But anyway, the shoes, very comfortable, love these for work, half size up, by the way. Um, and as I've said it before, I'll say it again, I feel like because they have that desert rat kind of moniker, they look like a rat's paw, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and I feel like as these get more and more dirty and get like that speckling of dirt on the bottom, they will look much better if they don't already. Now, rounding it out, we are going to end this with a discussion on the static pack. This being the reflective of the 350s, there was a non-reflective as well, uh, meaning that uh, it was 3M AF. And if this was the Yeezy 350 V1, and if this was the Yeezy 350 V2.0, and if this was the Yeezy 
350V 2.1, this would be the 2.2 baby, because all of a sudden we have a whole new prime knit um, pattern to the upper. We get the see-through piece, which is becoming a super popular thing with a lot of Nikes. You see it on the Zoom flies with, uh, with off-white and the Converse, and you see it with obviously the, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Element 87s, which really kind of push it into the forefront. To me, it's just like a meh, that's cool, but whatever, but you know, whatever. Uh, now, with these, uh, again, the sole is maintained, it's a similar sole, but the prime to pattern on the upper, completely revamped, still maintains the heel tab, and um, and now all the all the latest uh, Yeezy V2s that we're seeing, the, the 350 V2s that we're seeing, have uh, echoed this similar uh, pattern. Not gonna lie to you, I keep saying it, man, that clay colorway is pretty, pretty, pretty dope. Just can't do it, man. This is good enough for me. It's a nice base canvas with that whitish uh, tone to it, and I'm good, you know? And I've got enough big tools, come on, son. And to end it all out, along with that static pack came the first ever Yeezy uh, 700 V2. That being the V1 with the Wave Runner, this being the V2 and the static. There's been some other colorways rumored slash uh, confirmed for release. Um, uh, but yeah, so this took the same sole, and we talked about this on a different video as well, but this being the uh, V2 sole, or I'm sorry, the um, Wave, uh, God, 700 V1 sole taken uh, with a new upper from the Wave Runner slash uh, 700 V1 for the static V2. Uh, again, get some some of that premium feeling, uh, peb not pebbled leather, but uh, you know, nice plush leather, um, nice plush mesh. I really like this mesh. The lace is not as huge of a fan of quality wise compared to the uh, the neon of the Wave Runners, but it is, what it is, you get the Ortholite uh, Yeezy uh, insole there, boom, boom. Uh, but again, same sole, same sole. So yeah. Uh, also, to me, honestly, not as comfortable as these. Um, it's not that big of a difference, but it is what it is. So what are you gonna do? Uh, with that said, guys, we made it. Woo! Now, uh, as far as rumors go, I believe there should be a basketball model coming out at some point from Yeezy Line, um, as well as. A Fahrenheit 451 inspired fire flame midsole type ish coming out as well. I'm excited for both of those. Um, yeah, man. Yeezys, baby. Yeezys. Thanks for joining. Let me know if you have questions. Don't at me about politics stuff. Like, why are we even still on that? Uh, actually, we're not on that. I just reintroduced it to the conversation. My bad. Um, we'll talk later. Bye. Peace.